All right, let's talk about Hedera Hashgraph. Now, guys, this cryptocurrency is very different than the 21 plus thousand cryptos out there. Why? Because this crypto, for one, it doesn't use the same blockchain method as the other cryptocurrencies. Uh, Hashgraph, this crypto is basically completely different. Now, if you start, we're gonna look at some basic differences when it comes to like Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Like you guys check on the screen, very small amount when it comes to transaction fees, very fast, very low amount of energy use. But for all these reasons, you, you would think that the cryptocurrency would be going doing very good in the charts. But if we look at it now, it's just been bleeding red, just like most cryptos out there. Now, this is just uh, uh, what I've been thinking about. Uh, Hedera may be a very in, you know, thought-provoking, very different cryptocurrency, but it's possibly just being used for speculation and not being used for its intended use. People want to use it for you know, XYZ transactions, but I think the majority is just people trading it and hoping to get rich, like most cryptocurrencies out there. I mean, we're sitting at 21,167 cryptos, and I've been making videos about crypto for, for over a year now, and we're going to a couple hundred cryptos a month and sometimes even more. So I would say the majority is using it for speculation. And this is giving some overall direction what's been happening because one, Hedera is sitting at number 40 on the top of the list with 451,000 people's uh, watch list. So it, it, it's being constantly uh, uh, being watched. So it's not like it's not being seen. But when it comes to the charts, guys, this thing is... I would have to guess is it's going to go down lower. And I'll say the, the best place for it to go is, is the next accumulation zone. And we're talking about two, maybe three to four cents. Where it's currently sitting out, so it's 5.67 cents. And we have some, we got some time before it hits there. Now I'm on the weekly, guys, and I like checking the weekly first, weekly and monthly to see the overall trend of what's happening. And you know, for me, I don't like to buy in this type of environment. I used to, but I cut a lot of my positions when it comes to Hedera. But if you look at the charts, guys, like if you bought anywhere up here, you are bleeding red and taking a lot of losses. Now, if you're one of those lucky few who bought the dip and, you know, sold it on the pullback, yeah, but that's very unlikely. Most people are bought the dip. It dipped even more. They bought some more. They bought some more. They bought some more. They bought around here. They thought the trend was reversing. For me, I would not have bought in here because the, tr the trend definitely just started that reversing. If you want to see a trend reversal, see a big candle, another weak candle, another weak candle. Not weak, but like a you know, week, but a whole entire seven day period. We need to see a lot more evidence for it to go back up because the chances of it going higher to me are, are slim to none. I think it's going to be heading down to this zone first before doing anything else there is another zone below it that's all the way down here and if it heads down there you're talking about some major pains that if people are currently buying right now can be taking even more losses because i have a good feeling that the majority of people are not taking profits they, they keep hodling and hodling and not measuring out when they're going to take profit i think that's a big failure point when it comes to traders they don't measure their exit point first so for me I measure my exit point when I if it hits my target profit or oh, I'm sorry, and when it hits my uh, stop loss when I lock in my trade or when my exit indicator takes me out of the trade I have multiple ways to exit the trade near the top as much as possible not to, you know getting the top is really really rare but near the top so I can have to get you know emotional and doing emotional buys lock into myself into more pain because I think when it hits the basically three cent zone, it might pop up, build up slowly, but it might hit down lower. I'll make an updated video if it does hit down lower and my thoughts about, you know, rebuying at one cent and then possibly doing a big trend reversal. Well, let's go to the monthly real quick, okay? Now, monthly, you can see this, like, the amount of green bars, a few months get slammed down, a few months... But from there, just from this height, it just hasn't come back. A lot of cryptos are just like that. They just haven't came back to their previous highs. Now, there's cryptos like Quant and Chili's that, you know, doing pretty good, especially in this bear market when it comes to almost all markets that are in bear market right now. And they're doing pretty good. Because I would say those cryptos are actually being used for their intended purposes instead of being hodled and just using it as capital gains. But that's my thoughts about that, guys. I do see it going lower, 
I think it's going to hit this zone with three cents and some change and possibly hit bounce and hit down lower. But tell me what you guys' thoughts are. We'll get some of the details about this. Now, it's sitting at $1.3 billion when it comes to market cap. And, you know, Hedera is the most used sustainable enterprise grade public network for decentralized economy that allows individuals and businesses to create a powerful decentralized application known as dApps. Another thing about that, how many people actually program or create dApps? Is it the minority, the majority? I mean, I've been programming on MetaTrader 4, for an example, and I think the, main, the majority of people who use MetaTrader 4 and 5 do not create algorithms or create programs to trade for them. Now, if it was solely based on that reason, would MetaTrader 4 be as, used, be as popular? I don't think so. If it's based on for programming stuff and the use, but if HBAR is one of the main, you know, it's created and powerful, it's designed for dApps, that might be an issue to, you know, to uh, raise. Uh, was also, it is designed to be a fair, more efficient system that eliminates some of the limitations that older blockchain-based platforms face, such as slow performance and stability. You know, I go back to that. Just off the website, you know, transactions per second, how much their average fee is, the seconds uh, per uh, with fin uh, finality, and how many kilowatts they use. So it's probably you know a lot more efficient cryptocurrencies. I mean, Bitcoin's not efficient at at all. So there's a lot more efficient and better cryptocurrencies than Bitcoin, in my opinion. But Bitcoin's number one for some reason. But let us just some comments, guys. Uh, this was posted six hours ago by uh, Jeerbear. You know, HBAR, at what price would it be dumb not to hodl on this? Just build up your bag size. We are now back at all-time low support line. Even if we're to go down another 50%, another 50%. I would even cry because the companies this taken token uh, was it a uh, affiliate? I mean, just check this stuff out. Like people have some really interesting thoughts about this because we're all this crypto is pretty popular. Number forty, right? So well, as people are thinking about buying, I'm thinking about shorting. It's very quite interesting that people will do the opposite of what you're thinking because people use technical analysis and you know how good is that? But it's just interesting that a lot of people do do the opposite. So. As a trader perspective, I, I trade and see what's happening versus hodling and buying in when it's that. I'd rather just short short the cryptocurrency. Well, let's get into some other comments. I'm invested in H bar. Just disappointed to see that it's not holding its ground bit by bit. It's gradually dropping lower and lower. Sorry, dr gradually dropping lower. At uh, least move sideways. I'm already down 15%. That's huge, huge, huge loss. I mean, for me, I would have been cut the trade. From near 50 but it's, it's too much can someone tell me the inflation per year about Hedera this coin is one of the best collecting coin I love this maybe he's been buying early but he's not too up all right let's see those not buying at these prices are smoking weed not moving up with the rest of the market long-term target what's a realistic prediction by 2025 could be zero I'm bulls on H bar. I mean, there's a lot. It's like 70 cents. Go, 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 go. Might see a small push for H bar. So as I'm thinking short, guys, these guys are thinking long. And, you know, that hodl position, that hodl mindset doesn't really help out so much if you're taking a big loss if you've been, if you've been buying it during this downtrend. Like, you've been buying through all this and not taking any kind of profits. It's just losses. This is just painful. But, you know, you guys can get some other details. You guys check out their website, Hedera.com. Also, check out their uh, Twitter page, uh, it's Hedera. They got 250,000 followers, so that's pretty significant. So you want to read any news that's coming up, just check that stuff out. But uh, besides that, guys, go to my website, AndreMcClendon.com. You want to learn more about cryptocurrencies, MetaTrader 4 and 5 programming. If you want to use a web terminal for MetaTrader 4 and 5, just click here, Economy and some charts. But that's the video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.